So here's what we would like you to do. We're going to try to make somebody's dreams come true today who wants a dream shoot. Now, I don't know what your dream shoot might be. Your dream shoot might be, uh, I, I, I've i never worked with a fashion model, or I want to shoot a race car, or I want to shoot a sporting event, and it's a particular sporting event. And what we're going to try to do is use our resources and our contacts and whatever to make somebody's dream come true. We're going to look at your comments. We're going to pick one. We're probably not going to pick the one that says, I want to fly to Paris during the Olympics. Yeah. <laughs> and I want to be front row at the... But we're going to try to make something reasonable happen. All right, we got two winners. I'm going to let Eric go first, even though we only plan on having one winner. Yeah, we only plan on one. There were so many great ideas. Yeah, we, we went like, with two. How do we go with... So then we, right. we actually picked it to where it was one that I was like, I could totally help out with this. And then one I've where got you one said, I can totally help, totally out, help with. out with this. All right. So William Criminelli, who lives in Cape Coral, he's wanted to shoot a launch, a Falcon Heavy one that's coming up that I'll be at. Uh, it's one for the JPL and NASA's launching the largest uh, space satellite to ever explore like a deep space planet. It's actually going to Jupiter. Uh, it's called the Europa Clipper. So it's planned for October 10th. So we're going to go. Uh, what, I, what we'll do is, since you want a tour of Kelby 1, bring you by the studio. I'll show you loadout, what we do for a rocket launch, how we go through the process, how we pack out, and then we'll go over. Uh, we will cover the rocket launch. Now, I'm covering it for more of a um, human perspective, you know, of the exploratory side of it. So we'll do some of that human perspective, kind of photojournalism, storytelling. You're going to meet all kinds of cool people. you meet all kinds of cool people, and we will um, shoot the rocket launch. So there you go. So. All right. My winner is Karen Grillian. So Karen is going to fly to Cuba, to Havana, Cuba. So Karen, uh, you're in Illinois. So I imagine you're going to go to O'Hare. Here's what I'm hoping will, how this will work out. You fly to Tampa. I can go and take you to lunch in Tampa. We'll hang out. I'll give you all my Cuba tips. And I'm going to arrange a guy, uh, a guide for you down there. I know a guide, and I'm going to help you find a place to stay. You, there is, it's, it's very easy to go to Cuba for an American if you follow these steps. Yeah, and he's, you've got all you gotta, the steps. I got all the steps, and I got a great, great photo guide that will get you into amazing places uh, in Cuba. So if you'll go from there, do a, do a uh, stop over here, and then you'll probably – you're going to probably fly United to Tampa, and then you'll take Southwest from Tampa to Havana, and yeah. then you'll get to your basically Airbnb or, yeah, it's going to be an Airbnb is what you're going to wind up with because you can't stay in regular hotels because the regular hotels in Cuba are owned by the Cuban government. So the State, Department, the State Department does not allow that. State Department says you've got to stay. So I'll but get you a room. You, as long as you follow the advice and the tips and you'll plan out stuff with her, that you know, you'll be all good. Yep, and I'll get you a guide, I'll get your hotel, I'll get your airfare, and uh, I'll give you uh, all kinds of tips and stuff. So, uh, and so we'll have lunch in Tampa, and then I'll get you, I'll, I'll get you on your plane. I'll get you to the air side, <laughs> go that way. And it's amazing, once you're in Tampa, the flight is less than an hour. You'll be there in 50-something, 40-something minutes, and you're in Havana, and you will love it. It is, it is more than just a... It's not a travel thing. It's a cultural thing. You will fall in mm -hmm. love with the Cuban people. Oh, Cuban yeah. people are awesome. You're going to fall in love and with our food. guide. And the food is <laughs> terrific. You're just going to love it. You're going to have a wonderful trip. Yeah. And you're going to come back with very, very unique, really, really neat images. Yeah. When we look into it, the best time would be December, January, February. Yeah. That's going to be your best time. It's, it's your a best drier time. season. It's, it's going to not have as much humidity. But we'll work it out. We said, got some, yeah. hey, Karen wrote back, oh, OMG, what? Thank you. And William says, oh, wow, with about 60 exclamation, exclamation points. points. <laughs> well, there we go. All right, well, that's great.